Your fall shopping list is here. I have nine easy ways to update your wardrobe for fall 2022. Hi, this is Neto. Welcome back to my channel. My whole goal for this channel is to help you build a wardrobe and a style that you love so you look beautiful and feel confident every single day. So today I'm going to talk about fall again. This is my fall trends 2.0 video and today we're going to talk about specific items that you can bring into your fall wardrobe that will help you easily update your wardrobe. So the goal with trends is not to start over but it's to find items that work with your personal style, with your lifestyle and to incorporate them into your existing wardrobe in a way that is seamless and makes sense. And you know, you can bring in a fresh new piece and it can kind of instantly update everything else in your closet. So these are those pieces. So the first thing I want to talk about is something leopard. Now, some of these things are things that maybe were never off our radar. You know, I'm a leopard lover and leopard has always been on my radar. Wait, can you see my leopard bracelet? Yeah, there it is. Um, so I've always loved leopard and I've always worn leopard, but it's back in a really big way for uh, fall 2022. So, you know, depending on your personal style, you might want to look at a full leopard dress. I really like this one by Michael Kors. I think it's beautiful, um, but there are versions, you know, everyone has one. Alice and Olivia have a beautiful leopard dress that's out this season. There are plenty of leopard tops to choose from, but you can also go for a smaller dose of leopard, a bracelet, um, a pair of shoes, a bag a scarf there's a this Johnny Leopard Recycled Tech Camera Crossbody Bag at 145. That's a great way to add a little easy dose of leopard to an outfit. Um, and leopard shoes, I think, are really one of the more versatile. They elevate any outfit. You can have any basic outfit with solid pieces and you add a pair of leopard shoes and the outfit looks more interesting, more elevated. Uh, it, it just, they're, they're outfit makers. So I would say if you don't have a pair of leopard shoes and you're at all intrigued by leopard, consider leopard shoes this season. To me, they are the most practical application of leopard. Um, I love these earrings, these Demarson Leopard Pave Lana earrings. Like those are really, really fun. If you want a really small dose of leopard, like I said, a bag would be a great way to do it. Um, this is very fancy, but this uh, scarf, the Saint Laurent Jaguar Cashmere Blend Shawl, um, this is a beautiful nod to leopard. So it could be something subtle like an accessory, or you could go all in like I do and do a leopard dress or leopard pants or a leopard jumpsuit the Stella McCartney leopard all in one leopard tie waist jumpsuit. Now that's that's a commitment to leopard, right? That's all in on leopard. So we're seeing leopard with leopard with leopard. So you want to decide, you know, based on your personal style and your comfort level, how much or how little, if any, of the leopard trend you're all in on. Um, okay, the next thing I want to talk about is something sparkly. Um, again, the easiest way to bring sparkle into your wardrobe is with accessories. It could be a pair of sparkly earrings. It could be a sparkly bracelet. It could be a beautiful sparkly clutch um, or a great pair of shoes with maybe a sparkly bow on them. So there's so many ways to bring sparkle into your wardrobe. I really love Lili, Lili Sadugi's headbands, and they can add instant sparkle and instant glamour to anything you're wearing. I love this knotted oval crystal headband. I think it's just so, so so pretty um oval crystal headband yeah this is i mean and, and so sparkly hair accessory like that if that suits your style is such a great pick i mean i love this little bag from demelier um the santa monica metallic chain top handle bag just beautiful and you know we're looking at sparkly pants like these Silvana pants from sailor like that would be really cool even if you were gonna do it with a sweater or a basic top or something like that. So again, with this trend, the sparkly trend, you can go all in um, or you can just have a tiny little dose, a tiny little smattering of sparkle. Um, these Anthropology Badly Mishka heels for evening have a little bit of that sparkle. We're seeing a lot of evening motifs and a lot of clothes and a lot of accessories that are really dressy and for going out and that are full on glamour, kind of that 70s inspiration like we're going to go to a disco and we're going to wear all the color and all the sparkle. There's a lot of that 70s, early 80s um, feeling and style right now. And I absolutely love it. So a little dose of something sparkly. I have, as always, with every one of my videos, I have a catalog below with lots of options for each of these categories so that you can find something that works for you and your personal style. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is something bright. Now, I talked in my Fall Trends video about Barbie core and vibrant colors in general, but yellow, hot pink, 
lilac, green, cerulean blue, fuchsia, like literally any version of any bold color, like the bolder, the better, go bold or go home. So that is a major trend. So again, with the, with the bright trend, you can do a small dose of it, like a cool little bright pair of flats or pumps or a great bright bag, or you can go all in. I absolutely love this J. Crew um, yellow suit. It's a head to toe bold yellow look that I think is so cool and so intentional. Um, Saint Cassette also has a version of this in velvet that I think is incredible. So if you are bold in your color choices like I am and you enjoy wearing head to toe color, absolutely this is the season for it. Um, and then, you know, if you want something a little, a little more subtle, this also also from J. Crew, this stretch cardigan top. You know, it's 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 a color, but it's a little bit more wearable and can fit into an everyday wardrobe a little bit more. So it depends. Again, your lifestyle, your personal style, your budget. But a vibrant color, whatever that color is for you that you love, um, just turn up the, the volume on that color a little bit this season in an accessory or in a in an article of clothing and see how it makes you feel and how it works with the rest of your wardrobe. Okay, the next thing I'm here for, I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited. As a, as a petite person, platforms, platforms, platforms. They are a huge trend for fall 2022. We haven't seen platform. We've seen single-soled shoes for, it seems like, a decade. I mean, definitely for a long time, but platforms are really, really back in a major way. Last year, they, we, we started seeing them. I bought my platform boots. They made me feel so powerful and like I could just kick someone's butt in those boots. They were just, they're just, they're just fun and they give you height and at the same time, comfort, they're still wearable. So I, there are just some great platform shoes. I really want a pair, I'm looking at these um, from shoots, the Kifa Nubuck ankle strap platform. These remind me very much of a pair that I had in my 20s. They have a little bit of a 40s feeling, like a vintage feeling to me, and I love, love, love them. I also think they're really versatile and they're a pair that I would wear a lot. So maybe it's a, a brown pair of sandals or a brown pair of, of platform uh, clogs or shoes for you or a black pair, maybe starting with that dark neutral would be a great way to go. Um, or you can go all in on some of the colors that are offered this season. Um, I also really like these these Jeffrey Campbell Hustler <laughs> platform mules. These are a nice nude color. Um, it is it is a heel, but it's a smaller platform, so it's not as as dramatic of a platform. So we're seeing really, really, really high platforms, like neck breaking platforms, and we're seeing like subtle platforms. But either way, they offer a lift, literally, to your outfits and to your look, and give you a little height without. Um, you know, being so teeter tottery like like a stiletto. Um, I love these miso platform sandals. I think these are a, they're such a great option because they're very neutral. They are um, they're very wearable, and I think that's something that a lot of people could reach for over and over again. I also really like these erotic beard. Marin mules. These are kind of a cool, a little bit of a nod to Western, but also a platform. They're high, so you definitely are going to have to be comfortable with heel, you know, with, with a height for a platform. But again, we're also seeing subtle platforms. So I'm going to have a lot of different options for platforms in the catalog below. But if you're looking for that little bit of a height, I would say go for it because this is the season for it. I love, love, love these platforms. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is the bold bag. And oh my goodness, these are so much fun. Now keep in mind that many of us put our bags down places. You, If, if, if you're going to carry one of these bags, you want to carry it the entire night. You don't want to set it down because this is an, these are outfit makers. These are the star of the whole show. These bags are amazing. So we're talking about bags in bold colors and we're talking about really interesting silhouettes. We're still seeing the pillowy textured bags. We're seeing the puffy bags. We're seeing the highly embellished and chain mail and sequined and just very, very interesting bags in bold colors. I really love this one from Dries Van Oten. It's their small twist patent leather top handle. That's such a cool, cool um, bag. It's got the patent leather. It's got a beautiful color. It's got an interesting pillowy shape almost. Um, this bag from the Attico, their asymmetrical calfskin top handle bag. Ah, it's fancy. It's gorgeous like that is a gorgeous bag like these are bags that are designed to be seen you do not throw these on the floor in the bathroom do not throw these on the floor of your car like these these bags deserve like a shelf 
and you know like you polish it daily that kind of thing these are these are just beautiful um i'm also really obsessed i mean i like my lifestyle does not lend itself to this bag but i really want this bag the banu mini clutch from cult gaia ah, look at this bag it's got like pink sparkly things coming off it it makes me so happy again this is why i got into fashion like this is the fun stuff this is the good stuff this is when we get to be like you know a little extra and just enjoy it and not apologize for it. I love it. I might have to have that bag. I also really like, um, if you're looking for a different different um, theme, the Lily Sadugi Midnight Bouquet Tabitha handbag. This is so pretty. It's just very feminine, very girly. Um, yeah, there's, just, there's a version of these for everybody. We're also seeing, in addition to these cool little clutches and, and evening bags and interesting bags, we're also seeing massively large totes, tote bags. So also in interesting colors, also in interesting textures, but also some neutral and simple ones as well. So we're seeing bold bags. So bold in terms of really tiny and really oversized, or and also bold in terms of texture and color. So if you're looking for an interesting bag, this is the season to buy one. Okay, the next trend I want to talk about is the moto jacket. Now, like Leopard, I've never said goodbye to my moto jackets. I love my moto jackets. I have worn my, I just can't think of anything that really adds interest and edge to an outfit in fall, winter, as well as a moto jacket. And so I'm so glad that they're fully 100% in style again for this season. And I absolutely love them. So we're seeing a, a little bit of a cropped moto jacket this year. We're seeing a little bit of a biker inspired moto jacket. We're seeing moto jackets in all the colors, all the textures, smooth leather leather, um, a lot of shiny leather, some suede as well. So we're seeing there's a moto jacket out there for everybody. There's one in every price range and there's one for every personal style. You don't have to be edgy like I am <laughs> to, uh, to wear a moto jacket. They're just, they're just a cool piece to consider for the season. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is a blouse with sheer sleeves. Um, now it's really the sheer the sheer trend is just kind of everywhere. It's just it's just a big trend sheer stuff, but most of us are not going to wear a totally sheer top. I mean, you can wear a sheer top with like a tank underneath it or something like that. But um, totally sheer is probably not going to be something that most of us are going to to have an application for in our regular lives. But oh my goodness, there are so many really pretty like sheer sleeved tops and tops with interesting sheer details on them. Um, I love this one from Lovers and Friends. This is the Whisper Top. It's very pretty black and white polka dotted with like a sheer sleeve um marina rinaldi which is a high-end plus size brand their um bambola sheer rhinestone blouse that's beautiful um joie joy this is also a plus size top but um it's their fanning sheer smock floral print blouse so i mean you could do that over a tank or a, a nude cami um Emporio Armani's pleated semi-sheer peplum blouse. So just little, like little sheer insets, if that's something that appeals to you. I think it is so, so pretty. I have so many options. Oh, I have to show you this one. This is a very fancy one, but I think it's so, so stunning. This is from Acris. It's a sequin cuff sheer sleeve silk crepe blouse. Ah, it's beautiful. So if you like just a touch of sheer or a little or a lot, it's everywhere this season. So just a blouse, a pretty blouse with sheer sleeves or a pretty shell in a sheer fabric that you layer over a tank or a cami is a great option to update your wardrobe for it this season. Okay, the next thing is boots, 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 boots. Oh my goodness. We are seeing cowboy boots. We're seeing lug sole boots. We're seeing um, over the knee stretch boots. We're seeing knee high boots. We're seeing boots with very interesting um, uh, heels, like heel shapes and heel uh, textures. We're seeing platform boots. We're seeing boots in every single color. Um, we're seeing this really cool, like there's a square toe boot thing happening, but there's also like a rounded square toe boot happening. Um, there's literally this is the season of the boot there's a lot of shearling in boots shearling lining um and then shearling on the outside of of the boots um that's a major shearling is a huge trend and a huge texture that's 
always in style for fall, but more so this year than ever. So shearling boots, like any kind of boot that you're looking for, you're going to find this season. Moto boots, um, there's, there's something for everybody. And I have lots of boots in the catalog to choose from. But if you don't have a pair of boots or if, if you've been considering, oh, another kind is like the waterproof, like really chunky waterproof, like utilitarian boots, almost like muck boots. Um, that's what my friends who have farms call them. Um, but something like that, like there's... Like I said, there's one for everybody. And so um, if you're looking for a new pair of boots this season, you've come to the right place. I have a catalog filled with them and we're going to see a lot of boots for the season. And there's going to be something for everybody, every price point, every personal style. You will love them. Okay. Finally, my final trend is um, to, or final item to add to your shopping list is something feminine. And if you have feminine, romantic, or boho personal style, you're in luck. If you don't, then maybe incorporating a small feminine detail is going to be something that is more representative of your personal style. So uh, we're seeing a lot of pearls, which are the ultimate feminine jewelry trend accessory. So pearl motifs in in hair accessories, in headbands, in shoes, in bags, in, in everything. So maybe incorporating a small pearl detail um even a, like um like a, a pearl earring or a pearl, pearl hoop or something like that can just bring a touch of femininity to an outfit lace is another way to bring an easy touch of femininity to an outfit and anything feminine like that is going to be uh really on trend for the season Another way to add femininity is by buying just a pretty feminine blouse. It can be in a floral, it can be a, in a lace, it can be just a, a feminine soft chiffon or you know, even a sheer blouse is gonna be a, a feminine look. So incorporating a small dose of something feminine. Um, and then of course you can go all out with a feminine dress, a really pretty feminine dress that makes you, you know, appreciate and reminds us of the fact that we're women and you know, femininity is is, you know, is, is just one of the ways of expressing being a woman. And I, I love it. I'm here for it. So if that's something that appeals to you, you'll see so many feminine, romantic, ruffled, lacy, sheer, all of the things, um, options this season, a lot of boho options. So just ways to express your femininity in a way that feels true to your personal style. So I hope that you enjoyed my roundup, my shopping list, um, for fall. Again, not not every one of these things is going to be for every single person, but if you love them, oh, did I mention cowboy boots when I talked about boots? Oh my goodness. I, I mentioned them in my last video. Cowboy boots are huge. So when you go back to the boot section, remember that cowboy boots are huge for this season. So there's something on this list for everybody. Leopard, something bright, something sparkly, something girly or feminine, <coughs> excuse me, um, beautiful fun bags, a moto jacket, a blouse with sheer sleeves, something with sheerness on it, boots, including cowboy boots, um, platforms, there's something for everybody on this list. So let me know which of these trends you are excited to try. Which of these items are gonna make it on your actual shopping list? Um, and if you need more suggestions for any of these items, I'm always adding more items to the catalog. So definitely bookmark, the, open up the catalog that's linked in the description box and bookmark it so you can follow it throughout the fall season. I will be adding more and more to it. I add to it daily, a weekly if not daily. And so you can kind of, you can kind of see what my picks are for the season. Love you guys. Guys, let me know if you like this video by giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Love to have you here. And definitely don't forget to comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.